Hi. Hi, guys. Hello. Uh, hi, Rodrigo. Hi, Elena. Hi, Arely. Good evening. Hi, Brenda. Robert. Hello, guys. How's everybody? Thank you, Elena. Hello. How are you? How was your day? Very good. Thank you. Excellent. Very nice. All right, Rodrigo. How about you? How was your day today? I'm, it was a, a good day. Okay. Very nice. Okay, very good. Hi, Brenda. How are you? I'm okay. Thank Excellent. You. Very good. All right, guys. Very good. So yesterday, well, I was not able to send the point for some reason, uh, but I was able to do it this morning. Okay, so that's the, the PowerPoint that we were working with yesterday. And did you have a chance to read the passage or not really? Were you able to read the passage that was on the PPT that I sent this morning? Yeah, no. I didn't get the email or I'm not, I'm not sure where did you send it? I sent it on the WhatsApp group. Oh. Are you in the group, Elena? Yes, I am. All right, so I sent it through there. All right, well, that's okay. What about Brenda? Were you able to read it or not really? No, not really. Okay, very good. That's okay. Robert and Gabriela, Areli, and uh, the other classmate that we have in, did you guys read it? No, oh, yet. No, not, not yet. Not yet. Okay, that's okay. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We already have the answers from yesterday's exercise, but I do want you to keep on practicing with your reading. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to share it. Well, you already have it on your group, so you can actually like like open it from there i'm gonna project it anyway right now so you if you want you can take a picture hi saida and then i'm gonna send you to your groups and i want you to read together all right keep in mind the options that we had yesterday all right and the answers that you guys came up with okay so i want you to keep them um i want you to practice your reading together so for example, if I'm working with Elena, I read paragraph one and Elena keeps on reading the second paragraph, okay? The idea is to practice reading because sometimes we don't really like practice much. So this is a time for you to practice, okay? I'm gonna give you some time working on that. Then we're gonna come back in. We're not gonna like keep on talking so much about one because we already finished. And today I have another presentation for you with two questions, okay? pros and summary questions that I, I already have for you. I have the choices, I have the readings, and I'm gonna send you again to your groups and then you guys can do the same procedure. You have to, you can choose between uh, reading the options and just with the uh, topic sentence, you kind of come up with the uh, answers or you read the whole paragraph and then you see the choices. It's up to you. The, the information is on that PPT. So right now, I'm going to share the one that we were working with yesterday. And this is the, um, the reading, the passage, that, the passage that I sent to you this morning. All right. So either um, you already have it. Everybody has it, right? On the uh, WhatsApp group, I send it. If you're in the WhatsApp group, then you have it. No problem. All right. So I'm going to send to you uh, right now to breakout rooms. And what I want you to do is to practice your reading. It would be a very good idea at this point, guys, if you have like a notebook or a pen or a, I don't know, if you have a computer or whatever else that you can like be working with the vocabulary to have a specific words for these kind of readings, okay? That I'm sure we don't know all the vocabulary because it's not something that we talk about every day, okay? So guys, I'm gonna send you hi, Nidia. I'm gonna send you right now to your groups, read together, all right? And if you have vocabulary that you don't know, then I, um, I ask from you to like, kind of like uh, jot it down somewhere else so you keep on getting more and more vocabulary as, you, as part of your learning process, okay? So right now, I'm gonna send you to your groups, read the one, Nidia, right now you guys are gonna go and read together. Uh, the reading passage that was from the PPT yesterday. Okay. And then I'm gonna give you some time on that. A lot of reading is happening today. 
So as like, I'm gonna give you like about maybe 10 minutes or so, try to read it at that, like during that time, then we're coming back and I'm gonna present to you the other PowerPoint presentation, which I have two more questions, okay? And I have already the choices. So you're going to decide how are you going to work around those questions, either working on the topic, based on the topic sentence, you get the answers and then you read, or you read the passage and then based on the topic sentence after reading, then you get the options. That's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. All right, so this is what we're going to um, be doing. So I'm gonna open up the groups right now. Hi, Freddy. Hi, Guillermo. Hi, Maribel. Hi, Maribel. Hi, Astrid. How are you? Astrid, I already sent your classmates to the breakout rooms because what I want you to be working on right now is reading the passage that we worked on yesterday, okay? So I'm going to okay. give you like 10 minutes on that. Then we're coming back and we're doing some new readings today. Okay. So that's why everybody's on the, on the breakout rooms right now. So I'm going to send you right now to one. Okay. So Astrid, just give me a second here. Just give me a second. I'll send you right now. Hello, hi. The majority of a species, this rule generally holds. In fact, the presence of hybrids between similar species suggests organisms. 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 Excellent. Organisms. Organisms. <laughs> My God. It's a group. Thanks, teacher. It's a group <laughs> of, of actually or potentially
Hi, girls, you're reading? Yes. All right, very good. Okay, so you're silently reading right now, yeah? Yes. Okay. Yep. Evolution. Sympatric speciation, meaning speciation in the same, same homeland, involves speciation occurring within apparent species with remaining in one location. Okay. Hi, Julia. Hello. Hi, Julia.
sure of the geographic separations necessary to isolate its population depends entirely of the biology of the organism and its potential for dispersal. Is to as a branching event and diagram it, the process in the only illustration found in on the original species. For speciation to occur in nearby valleys, chances, uh, chances are that individuals from each population will fly back and forth, continuing gene flow. Julia, Rodrigo, and Freddy, finish reading? Uh, almost. Ah, okay, that's fine, that's fine. The, the, the last... <laughs> okay, that's okay. Let's that's fine, that's I have, okay. I have the sentence, Rodrigo. It's just please read, because I have problems with the, with the presentation, please. Okay, don't worry. Oh, well. From the first population, eventually sympatric speciation might occur as more genetic difference accumulated between them. Have you finished reading? Brenda, you finished reading? Yes? Okay. And Elena yes. also? Okay. Just yes. give me one more minute because most of them are just wrapping up, okay? And we're going to go back. Okay. Thank you.
All right, I think everybody's coming back from the reading. All right, how did you find the reading? Was it okay? Is it difficult? Do you guys understand most of like everything that's going on? How was it? Brenda, how was the reading? Is it okay? You understand most of it, yeah? More or less. Yeah. yeah. Most of it. Most of it, yeah. Still of course, yeah, of course, very good. Astrid, in your case? Uh, yes, it's, yeah. it's a little difficult, but understand the main idea. The main idea, is all right. Yeah. Not the details because it's, right. it's very long. Yeah. Right, also, it's long and it's kind of like wordy and very like technical words going on here. Nidia, were you able to finish? Were you able to uh, understand most of it? Uh, we just read two paragraphs and we, okay. we stayed there. Okay. The second okay. paragraph. All right, that's okay, that's okay. Areli, what about you? Gabriela, what about you girls? Yeah. Were you able to read everything? Did you get the main points? A little bit. A little bit, okay. Now, I have a question for all of you. Yesterday, we had the topic sentence from the same passage, okay? The one, remember the, in a simple topic sentence. Do you think it's easier for you now that you have read the passage what is easier for you to get the choices or the right answers from the topic sentence without reading or you need to read first and then get the, the choices what do you guys think i think that is better uh, to read mm -hmm. In, and then we can uh, select the options. Okay, all right. So for you, it's uh, better to read the passage and then select yes. the options. Okay, very yes. good. And thank you. Anybody else? Elena, what do you think? Julia, Astrid, Maribel, what do you guys think? I think, I think, I think the same. In my case, okay, the, yeah, I think it's better to read before. To read the passage, before, okay. All right. So, so teacher, because the topic is very difficult because yeah. all of us don't know about it, about yeah. that maybe <laughs> if the topic were were were, were different or yeah. easy, easier yeah. okay yeah it maybe. okay all right okay so what we're going to do right now the idea was for you to practice reading and reading like together so you guys kind of like have a better sense of what you're reading okay but now what i want you to do i'm going to show you the new presentation that we have for tonight and it's this one it's right here all right this is the one that we're working on today all right pros and summary and fill in the table questions the instructions guys they are the same we said that yesterday so don't you don't have to really worry about reading it every time you encounter these type of questions, but of course you have it there, it's there for you to read it. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna move the slides just a little bit here. So there are two readings, all right? So two pass, like reading passages, okay? So this is the first one, it's not as long as the one that you just read, and then immediately after that, you have the question or the topic sentence, and then you have the six choices. What you have to do, I want you to read it together again, discuss it, and then go on, like, uh, go on reading the choices and try to get the right, the three right choices. Remember that these questions, they ask from you three questions, I mean, three answers, okay? As soon as you're like, please write your choices down somewhere so you remember which choices you chose. And then another one, which is a little longer, all right, but it's not as long as the previous one that we just read. And then the same thing. Then you have your topic sentence or the question, and then you have your six choices. So you can go about it any way you want to. If you wanna like do it how we did it yesterday, first going over the topic sentence and then the choices and then reading or reading first and then going over the choices. However it works for you, it's okay, all right? We're probably not gonna be able to finish all of it, all right, but that's okay. I, that's why I only have two readings for today and I have two more readings for tomorrow, okay? It may get like a little bit like, oh my goodness, we're reading? Yeah, this is the reading section, that's why we're reading, okay? So the idea is for you to practice reading here with your peers, okay? So I'm gonna, um, 
I'm going to send this presentation right now to the group because I have not sent it. I'm going to send it to you right now. Just give me one second here. I hope it won't take long. Again, it's going to be on the... Uh... Okay, just give me a second here. All right, hold on. Okay, I'm sending it right now. So I don't think it will take long because it's only like four slides or five. So while we wait, I'm gonna send you guys to your breakout rooms, but you know what we can do now? I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna show you this. So if you want, you can take a picture while it's loading up. Take a picture of the first of the first questions. I'm just gonna move us from here. These are the, the, this is the first question and these are the choices. You can take a picture or uh, take a, like a screenshot. All right, and that's for number one while we wait. And then these are the other ones for number two. Did you finish taking a picture of that one, guys? Yes. Okay, yes. and this is number two. These are the choices. All right, I think uh, the PPT is already on the group. Can you guys check on the WhatsApp group? Yes. Yeah, yeah. all right, perfect. Okay, so right now go to your groups, guys. Work on it, read the passage first if you want to. Try to read it together so you can like check on pronunciation and help each other. And then go on uh, reading the question with the choices. We're gonna try at least to solve one of them today. And then the rest, we're gonna keep on working at it. Like we're gonna do it tomorrow, okay? But right sure. now, go back, yeah? It's reading and choose two Choosing options. Choosing three. Three, 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 three options, three. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, based on the topic sentence, Rodrigo, okay? Okay. Yeah, very good. Okay, go to your groups, guys, please. Hi, Rodri. Rodri?
let there see. I think there is letter A, B, and C. Can you say that? Uh, a, B, and F. Okay, that's one. Okay, what number are you guys working on? One or two? One. One. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. Two. And I don't know. So I think Nivia, they they are using uh, many many uh, many difficult words too. <laughs> My God. Uh -huh. Yeah, because this is the idea that because when we are taking the TOEFL test, oh my God, the the passage that they provide are very very hard. Yes. So, and I don't I don't understand anything. <laughs> <laughs> my God, I don't know where. And, you know, and you know what, ladies, these readings they are actually like they are like taken from a real TOEFL test. <laughs> yeah, okay. that is a good idea that we are starting those kind of right passage because yeah. uh, we can get a better idea. That's right, Adeli. Very good. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's the idea. I know. I know. Maribel loves reading, <laughs> and it's a challenge, yeah. Maribel. Yeah. Teacher, no, no, I understand, but uh, we have. Finish the first one. Okay. We me we we seen the the letter B, C, and F. Oh my uh, goodness. Arely, uh huh. Right. Arely and me, but Lydia uh, say oh um, maybe the letter A too. Ah. Uh huh. All right. So can you help us? Can okay. You, help you know us what? To... Right now, ladies, you have one point. <laughs> <laughs> My God! Oh, but you know what, Arely, I mean, Arely, Nidia, and Maribel, when you have two right choices, that means that you have one point. All right? So you have oh, two okay. right choices. Letter B okay. and letter F, they are correct. Okay. Wow. The other letter one, A? No. Letter A? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you're there. You're getting closer. Very good. Nice. Good job, girls. Thank you. Uh-huh. Es que estaba hablando de five. C and D. All right, uh, guys, you're finished. Number one, nine, number two, I see. Right now we are number two. Okay. Yeah. What were the choices that you got from number one? For number one, we have to, to keep B, uh -huh. as in boy. Yeah. The other one was D as in David and, that, uh -huh. and F as in Frank. Excellent, guys. Good job. Very good. Nice. Very good. Well done. But right now we were discussing about the second. Number two. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Good job. In this case, we have a question. Uh huh. Uh, the C one is fossilized or it's fossilized? Fossilized. Ah, okay. Yeah. Very good, Astrid. Very good, Robert. What's the name of the other classmate that you have in the group? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Well, well good job anyway. <laughs> okay. I'm cutting. I've been washed away because. No one happened to see them when they were fe first exposed, or the people who saw them didn't realize what they they were seeing. Qué complicado. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Rodrigo? What happened? Oh, it's, the reading teachers are reading. I know, readings are hard guys, but you know what? I was telling the other group, Julia, Freddy, and Rodrigo, I was just telling the other group that these uh, passages that I present to you, they are from a real test, okay? So 
take it from the good side that you are getting you know acquainted with the kind of questions the real questions that you guys will encounter all right so i know they are difficult but that's what they are like okay i'm not making this up this is the type of reading that you guys are going to find at a TOEFL test in okay. a way try to see it as okay it's a plus because now i know what they talk about and these is strange words they use and everything yeah but that's hey. that's real life <laughs> thank you all right thank you so much. The, the, the i know the yeah i know pronunciation and the meaning because as a, one of your classmates was, was saying yesterday we really don't know about you know like science or archaeology or you know astrophysics oh. <laughs> so that's what makes it hard but the idea here is to get an idea of what's going on and what, about what's happening all right so that's why i like to take the time for you guys to actually read together because if i assign to you if i assign it to you you may not read it so because we are like doing some other stuff but this hour is for this to read you know and then tomorrow i'm going to present another to read the same difficulty you know so it's, but that's that's the, yeah all right so but keep it up did you finish number one or you're still not yes. finished yeah all yes. right julia let me see let's yes. see julia what were the choices julia for number one what were your choices Letter D as in day or as in boy? D. As in, as, okay, okay. D. Letter okay. E. Uh huh. And letter F. Okay. So uh, the, the first one was B as in boy? D. No. D. D. Like. D as in D. dedo. D. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm sorry. De la edad, Julia. I'm sorry. It's my age. Right? <laughs> okay. So it was C. <laughs> C, what yeah. was the other one? D. E. D as in dedo. <laughs> e. 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 I'm sorry. C, E, and F. Elephant. E. Yes. I got it. Yes. C, E, and F. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh no. Okay. So right now, tienen 0.5. Por eso que esas preguntas valen dos puntos. Okay. Para que usted tenga mm -hmm. un punto, tiene que tener dos buenas de las tres choices. Y para tener, mm -hmm. obviamente, los dos puntos, tienen que tener the three choices. Ahorita, no llegan ni a un punto. Oh no. All right. <laughs> Right now, guys, the um, the good Try again. Try again. <laughs> yeah, the good choice right now, guys, is F. The other two, C and E, no. All right. Okay. Yeah. How do you say uh, the late descarte? I know it. Eh? <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, that's what you have to do. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Go and do it like that, yeah. Rodrigo. <laughs> because, because if if we will delete mm -hmm. the, the bad choices when we we have a um, uh, high probability, probability, <laughs> high probability. <laughs> yeah. of, of a good result yeah. in the second <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, very good, but it's good guys, keep, keep on trying, keep on trying, all right? Uh, we're gonna go back right now because remember I have the other class right away, so I'm just gonna tell the answers for number one. And number two is going to be homework. All right. All right. Thank okay, you. you. Okay. I think uh, almost everybody's back with me, guys. I need to go because I have like the other class right away. I'm going to give you the answers for number one. Okay. And if you were not able to finish number two, I will assign it for homework. Okay, because that's the only way that you actually read it and then try harder, all right? So number two, as soon as you finish, you can just say, teacher number two, these are the choices. Uh, my number is on the, of course, on the WhatsApp group, so you can just like send it on a private chat so nobody else can see your answers, all right? So 
is otherwise okay. everybody's going to be cheating <laughs> all right and that's not the, <laughs> the case here okay so the answers for number one is b as in boy d as in day and f okay those are the right choices of number one okay we're going to discuss those okay. tomorrow but right now just keep it and did everybody did anybody got those right choices for number one teacher yeah. no yes. All right, okay, somewhat. Okay, yes. Someone said teacher. Me, me. Uh -huh. Can you repeat the, the correct answers? Yes, B as in boy, D as in day, and F. Thank B, you. D, F. All right, those are the right choices for number one, okay? If you didn't get all of them, guys, it's okay. We're trying here, we're learning, it's not easy. I was telling some of you on the private groups. Uh, the good thing, like, look at the bright side of this. These are real TOEFL test questions. So what we're trying to do here for you is to actually, for you to get acquainted with the type of questions that you're going to be facing if you take the test, okay? So this is the, these are the type of readings that you're going to find. So it's a challenge, I know, but this is it, okay? So keep that in mind. Do number two as homework, send me the answers like on a private chat and I will tell you if you're right or wrong. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I have two more readings, okay? And we keep on practicing. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you so much for being with me. Bye. Have a nice time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Thank you. Bye. -bye.